Dinostropic and I'm going to present you in the next few minutes uh, the results of our participation in the Microsoft Dare to Dream Different contest. As you know, we originally planned to build a game based on the micro framework in combination with indoor GPS. Therefore, our first prototype consisted of a U-Blox GPS receiver chip, a mobile power supply circuit and a Tahoe development board. We integrated the GPS receiver and the micro framework board using the UART interface and the NMIA protocol. Then we packed everything into a box and tested it outside, in the car, in subways and of course inside buildings. The results outside in cars and public transport were great. Everything worked really well. Unfortunately, the GPS fixes inside buildings were quite unreliable. As you can see on these pictures, the accuracy we got was definitely not enough for a game in which participants at a conference should find Mr. X based on GPS signals. At that point of our project, we were quite disappointed. Micro Framework and the Development Board were doing great. Should everything fail because of the GPS part? Of course we did not give up. We went back to the whiteboard and reworked the lineup of our game. Because GPS wouldn't work indoor, we decided to replace this component with RFID. We knew that there would be a lot of people interested in RFID at the conference where we would present our Mr. X game. Therefore we decided to go for it. Back at the office we started to implement the first prototype of our micro framework game Mr. X. We could use some of the hard and software we had built for the original GPS setup because RFID readers also communicate via the UART interface. It took us two days to build the first version of the Mr. X device. As you can see, it worked, but it was still far away from being presentable at the conference. The prototype showed us that this time everything could really work. Therefore, we decided to take the next steps. Some nights later, we had created a circuit layout that integrates mobile battery power management, the UART communication between RFID chip antenna and the Tahoe board. The last step was the development of a library for RFID access using c -sharp, Micro Framework and Visual Studio. The software part was especially interesting for us because we wanted to write a single code base for the RFID driver that can be used not only on the Tahoe board but as well as inside Microsoft BizTalk server and SharePoint because we had decided to use these products for the registration process for our game at the conference. At that time of the project we were quite excited. Everything was working fine. The hardware was there, the software was there, the last piece that was missing was the marketing material that was necessary for presenting the game at the Microsoft Big Days conference. My name is Rainer Stropek. I'm standing here in Vienna, right in front of the Austria Center Vienna, where uh, we have the fourth stop of the Microsoft Big Days. At the Microsoft Big Days, we present our Mr. X game. Our Mr. X game was built for the Microsoft Dare to Dream Different Contest. It's based on top of the Micro Framework technology, and I would suggest let's get in and check it out. Big Days are the largest IT event that we have in Austria. Nearly 2,000 developers are visiting this event to learn about the newest and hottest technologies from Microsoft. So, this is our Mr. X and this is the device we have built for the Dare to Dream Different Contest. As you can see, it consists of three main parts. We've used the Tahoe development board for our Mr. X application. And we've integrated this Tahoe board um, with this RFID reader on the top. So what we have built is some custom electronics that uh, cares for integrating our Tahoe development board and our Mr. X application with the RFID reader. The interface that is used is the URTTL interface and the rest of the electronic you see here is for the mobile battery power. Here you see the battery and this uh, device here is, is caring for a constant current for uh, using the Tahoe development board in a mobile fashion. The first steps for people participating in our Mr. X game is to register. To show the abilities of the micro framework, we have written the driver for the RFID reader in C-sharp. 
and we've used exactly the same source file on the microframe report as, uh, use, as we use it for the BizTalk implementation you see here. The registration is done via BizTalk and via this RFID reader that is uh, connected to the BizTalk server using a COM interface. The important message that we want to give the developers is that you can use exactly the same source code from the smallest device on the microframework board up to a large BizTalk server cluster that is running on top of Windows 2008 Enterprise Edition. <laughs> Let's follow a participant on his way through the Mr. X game. Firstly, he gets his personal Mr. X badge. We put an RFID reader chip on it so that we can track him throughout the game. The second step is the registration process. As mentioned before, this is done using BizTalk, SharePoint and InfoPath. Now he's ready to go. Our guest can start the game by scanning his RFID chip. He sees an image of the Mr. or Mrs. X that he has to find. We work together with Microsoft Austria in picking the persons who act as Mr. and Mrs. X. We wanted to use the game to get people in personal contact with Microsoft persons who demonstrate interesting things like Surface or Windows 7. In this case our agent has to visit the demo area of Microsoft Surface. He has to scan the RFID chip of Mr. X. As a result, he gets a question about Mr. X that the agent has to answer correctly. If he managed to answer it correctly, he can come back to our booth and pick up his present, a Mr. X USB stick. The feedback that we got from Microsoft employees, from conference attendees and all the other people involved in the conference was very good. Only a few of them already knew about the micro framework. However, most of them were impressed about how easy it is to build embedded applications based on this platform. We had more than 100 people attending our game and we had a lot of fun. We hope that you like the results of our Dare to Dream Different contest too.